And on the presumption of innocence, there's a, there's a couple ways you can do it. So I always start, every trial, we do it in panels. We'll do four jurors at a time. I always start at least the first panel with, let me see a show of hands, how many people, when you walked in the room, looked at my client and thought, I wonder what he did. And almost always somebody, at least one, is going to raise their hand. Sometimes no, none of them do, but you know that's what they thought. And then you make them tell you why that's important. So why would you think that would matter to me as a defense attorney if you had that thought? And somebody's going to come up with a presumption of innocence. Now you're on the topic, and you can explore it from there. And I've always found that one really good way to explore it is to ask them directly to, put, to rate different, um, different rules that they're supposed to follow. One of them is the presumption of innocence. And, and I guarantee you will get a conversation going about wrongful convictions. And if you don't, you can use that word too. So uh, how would you rate the importance of the presumption of innocence to our justice system? What would you give it on a scale of one to five and have each juror tell you how important it is? And then when you follow up on why, why is it important? Why do we have to presume he's innocent? Why can't we come here presuming he's guilty? Because probably some of us do. We all have this idea that you wouldn't get arrested if you didn't do something wrong. Front those things to them. Talk, them, talk to them like they're human beings, and you'll get them talking back to you. So uh, an, another thing to bring up is wrongful convictions. If they don't take it there uh, from your questioning, ask them. In the media in recent years, we've heard a lot about something called wrongful convictions. What does it mean to you? How do they happen? Uh, what would you do as a juror to avoid going down that path? So this gets them thinking like, wow, my responsibility is huge. And that's where I'm talking about setting an agenda. And we know, we, we talked about some of the studies earlier, we know that jurors are uh, concerned about respecting the rights of the defendant. But first you got to make them aware that that's their job. And I don't know how much lenience you guys get. We can go pretty far with our questioning. You can ask him also things ab about the word innocent. Like, does it concern you at all that you are not going to be given an opportunity to find Mr. Doe innocent? Does that concern you? And some of them look at you puzzled. Oh, great, the door is open. Explain. No, 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 your job is very, very limited. You will only be allowed to say, I have no doubt that's reasonable that he is guilty of what he's charged of, or you're allowed to say, I have at least one doubt that's reasonable that he did it. And those are going to be your only options. Does that concern you? Of course it doesn't concern them. But now you've said those words and they're like, wow, so I don't, I'm not finding him innocent. And they may not be having those wow moments, but I guarantee subconsciously you're painting a picture to them. 